So one of the things I would love everyone to stop doing is buying herbs from the grocery store. You can grow them so easily in a kitchen garden. You can dry them or use them fresh and there's really no reason why you have to buy herbs that have been trucked from California and sat in those little plastic containers for like weeks and weeks and hardly have any flavor, right? So today I wanna to show you how to harvest oregano from your kitchen garden. Oregano grows so well inside a kitchen garden and um, I love to grow oregano like on the corners of the kitchen garden bed. So here we have some oregano that's been in the garden for over a year and so it's pretty vigorous. One thing we want to make sure with the oregano is that it doesn't head into the interior of the bed. So when I come out here to harvest, one of the first things I'm going to do is make sure I kind of untangle it from any plants behind it and then I'm going to harvest from the back. Now I've got just some scissors here. I'm gonna cut into the plant. And when I do, I'm gonna cut all the way at the base of the plant rather than just on a tip. So I'm gonna reach back here and I'm actually gonna harvest like a bunch of them because I wanna make sure I keep all of the oregano from heading to the back of the bed. So I'm cutting it all at the base and then I'm gonna untangle it like my daughter's hair. And here I have a whole bunch of delicious oregano. Is that awesome? I wish you could smell it. So this oregano can be used right away, um, fresh. It's gonna be not quite as pungent of a flavor if you use it right away. Or you can hang it up so you could just take some twine I'm gonna pull that little piece of spinach out of there. So you can just kind of strip the leaves here at the base, take some twine and tie them up, and then you could literally just hang it on a little hook in you know, like a dark and dry place, or at least a dry place. You don't want it to be in the sun. Um, so just kind of, you know, like a closet or somewhere in your kitchen, something like that. Anyway, once you dry these leaves, they can be like ground up or they can be used whole. Um, there's just a million different ways to use oregano and you really just don't have to buy it from the grocery store anymore. So don't do it. All right. Um, that's my tip for harvesting oregano. So plant it in your kitchen garden and when you harvest it, harvest the pieces that are at the back of the bed so that you can keep them from growing into the rest of your vegetables that are going to be growing this season. Just say no to grocery store herbs and start growing your own in your kitchen garden this season. Thanks so much for watching. And um, as you know, if you haven't known yet, I have an awesome herb growing guide that's for free when you sign up at Gardenary.com. It's a beautiful herb growing guide and it's gonna get you started right away on growing some herbs this season. So go check it out, grow some oregano with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.